Summertime means my family is always on the go. So having quick and delicious meal options to choose from is something I rely on. I love the turkey sandwich that I make from the leftover Thanksgiving turkey, so I've decided to make it a year-round option, but with a twist. I'm gonna pop that turkey right into summertime with my Caribbean jerk turkey. I'm going to be using my large granite stone roaster, not because I'm cooking a 15 pound turkey, but rather an eight pound turkey breast and a whole pineapple. I chose the breast because this is going to be done specifically for sandwiches. So let's get started with our rub. The one I'm doing, the Caribbean jerk, is both sweet and spicy. And I'm starting with two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of coconut sugar, a lot of cayenne pepper, one and a half to two teaspoons. However spicy you want it, that's where you take it. A tablespoon of thyme, a tablespoon of parsley, a teaspoon of onion powder, and here again you can get creative. I like to do a lot of smoked paprika. This is two teaspoons of smoked paprika. You can back off if you want to. And then you have to have cinnamon, one teaspoon, and allspice, one teaspoon. That's where really that jerk flavor comes from. So we're just gonna mix these up and be very, very liberal when you're putting this on the bird. I'm gonna go under the skin and really season it well. And then after I get the turkey in the oven, I'm gonna make a glaze to baste it with at the end as well as use for a condiment on the sandwiches that's delicious. You wanna make sure you get this rub all over the turkey. This is what's gonna give it that summertime pop. You can gently pull the skin away and rub up underneath as well. And last but not least, you wanna use some coarse salt. I don't use a lot because once you put it on, you can't take it away, but just enough on the outer part of the skin for a little bit of extra flavor. And now our jerk bird is ready for the oven. With a traditional roaster, cleanup would be a mess because the turkey and the glaze would both stick even if cooking spray or oil was used. But with my granite stone roaster, that won't be a problem. It's triple layer protection guarantees my turkey will come out perfectly and I won't be scrubbing this big roaster or letting it soak in the sink for hours. I'll simply wipe it clean, put it in the dishwasher and let it do the rest. While the turkey cooks, let's make our glaze. I'm gonna caramelize some Vidalia onions for our glaze. Now you'll notice I did not add any oil. Why? Because I do not need to. Granite Stone's triple coated PTFE and PFOA free, which means nothing will stick, not even under the heat of gas. While our onions caramelize, we're gonna make the rest of our glaze. And I've got two cloves of minced garlic, a half a cup of pineapple juice, a half a cup of honey. You see why I said it's a sticky glaze? A half a cup of ketchup. And a quarter of a cup of teriyaki marinade. We're just gonna whisk this together. And you can see these are beginning to caramelize. We're getting that little bit of golden brown, that's what we wanna see. So I'm gonna add our glaze and just let it simmer.
This glaze is going to be perfect for our sandwiches. This aluminum skillet's lightweight and easy to control. For me, it's a plus because I don't like a heavy skillet. And you see how easy everything comes out, no sticking. All right, the moment I've been waiting for. Got my slicer knife, which gives me precision cutting. Oh yeah, this is cooked perfectly. Look at that skin, that glaze. Mm. Mm. This is absolutely delicious. I have officially transformed the turkey into a year round bird. I told you I was gonna let the dishwasher do all the work. 